What's up guys, welcome to the channel, I'm Salty Sluggy, thanks for tuning in today. Now here's another game that I forgot to mention from the PC Gaming Showcase that caught my eye and thought I'd share it with you, and it's called The Invincible. The game is set to release at some point in 2023 for your PS5, your Xbox X and S, your PC, as well as the Epic Game Store and GOG.com. It's coming from a Polish developer known as Starwood Industries. The developers have an experienced team of specialists, artists, and are fans of engaging narratives, who in the Pats played a part in creating some of the biggest and most renowned Polish gaming projects. The game is inspired by the novel of the same name by Polish author Stanislaw Lem. It puts the player in the shoes of a highly qualified, sharp-witted astrobiologist named Jasna in a quest to find her lost crewmates. Yes, I know, a lot of female protagonist games right now. Within this single-player narrative-driven story adventure, you'll be unearthing the mysteries of an unexplored planet named Regis 3. On the surface, it all seems so simple, and yet this corner of the cosmos and the secrets associated with it irreversibly affect the perception of yourself and of the entire human species. You are faced with unusual choices, and you have to deal with their consequences. If you make it back, nothing will ever be the same for you. You are not alone in all of this, though. You have the support of an experienced but sometimes cautious astrogator, whose advice is valuable, but the clarity of the situation is sometimes as distant as he is. You only communicate over the radio, which, here in space, is the norm. Even when you look someone in the eye and they are right next to you, the sound of every word uttered in the conversation reaches you in a form deformed by the device. In addition to human companions, you can also count on a probe, which is very useful in the field, and your analogue equipment. However, your courage, sharp mind and a bit of sarcasm are the driving force in discovering the secrets of this alien place. So when The Invincible was revealed at the PC Gaming Show and I watched it, I still share the same sentiments that the PC Gaming article states in which it's so reminiscent of Firewatch. Now, if you don't know what about Firewatch, it is available on Xbox Game Pass or PC Game Pass. And I played it and I enjoyed it. It's a narrative driven story game and you're overwatching a fire tower and you're talking to somebody on the radio and it goes through day in, day out and things are happening per day. I won't spoil anything. And I never got bored playing it. I was just like, what is going to happen next? Like how deep does this rabbit hole go? So it was always piquing my curiosity, which in turn egged me on to play it more so I knew what the final outcome was. And they kind of create a bond between them while they're talking over the radio. And this is so much reminiscent of that, but in a sci-fi setting. So even though this is not the type of game I usually go for, I did enjoy my other experience, so therefore I do have an appreciation for these type of games. Even though, to me, they are like one-time deals. You play it once, you never play it again. They're what I call throwaway titles, but I still have an appreciation for developers that actually put their heart and soul into these kind of games. And these titles aren't taxing on your brain or anything. It's just a point-and-click adventure with a story woven into it. So be sure to look out for it if you're interested in sci-fi as well as story-driven games in 2023. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please support it with a like because it helps out me and helps out the channel and I wouldn't ask you otherwise. Subscribe for more upcoming games. You'll find other games on my channel if you want to check those out. You'll find social links down below if you want to support me in that space. Hit that notification bell and as always, have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.